Since the devastating tremors damaged parts of Bajiswari Higher Secondary School in Bhaktapur, Nepal, city volunteers are working with the school's civil engineering students to erect six prefab classrooms on campus. The students boosted their energy with morning exercise to get ready for class. Instead of going to classrooms, some students are attending classes in the hallway. Meanwhile, other students are sharing a classroom. Benji's Worry Higher Secondary School is the biggest elementary and high school in Bhaktapur, and after the recent quakes damaged the school, there are not enough classrooms. After the recent quakes damaged these two buildings, red labels have been placed on them, meaning they are unsafe and no longer suitable for use. We have two school areas. While one area is safe, 24 classrooms in the other area have been damaged, affecting 700 students. Cracks can be seen on many school buildings. For safety reasons, the fourth and fifth floors of one building are no longer in use. Therefore, city volunteers decided to build prefab classrooms in the empty lot on campus. The city foundation will be building six prefab classrooms that can accommodate 300 people. The high school teachers and students will also help assemble the classrooms. More than 20 civil engineering teachers and students break up into three teams. Working under the scorching sun, they hope students can study soon in safe classrooms. Among the student volunteers, female students also took up laborious work. Our teachers and make, uh, make our buildings for our schools to study. So I feel very happy. I feel proud and I'm very excited for, for this work. City volunteers also went through the prefab classrooms assembly process and introduced Siji to the students. After we introduced Siji, we performed Siji sign language songs for them to better understand Siji's humanitarian culture. To ensure students can study in a safe environment, city volunteers are working with the school to build prefab classrooms and will continue to help the students on the school's path to recovery.